Jimmy Webb with Galveston. Now, I know you enjoy... Love the work of the Webb. Webb Meister. A lot of people, of course, be familiar with his sons, the Webb Brothers. Yeah, yeah, very different. Quite cool, mm. eh? Yeah, I, I went fun. to see him live, and he was just so cool. Mm. Just, like, doing his songs and telling a little anecdote. It was just... He's, he's, he's fantastic. That's my song for lover, Steve. What um, have you got for well, us? no, I was just going to mention a couple of other gifts that my father uh, got. Well, well, he got me once. I unwrapped once, having professed no interest ever in this particular uh, artist, about as much interest as... Um, Winston Churchill. Um, I once received, lucky me, the making of Thriller. It was a it was a video behind the scenes on Thriller. From Michael I Jackson know what film. he thinks though. But he, he, said to me, he thinks he said, Steve, he said, Steve loves to dance. No, he went. He went. Uh, you love music and you yeah. love films. Yeah. No, and that, that's a film. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I've never professed any interest. I mean, I don't think it even had Thriller, the actual film on it. It was just the making of Thriller. Really. Behind the scenes, Michael Jackson dancing and, around and John saying, Landis. Yeah, it was r rubbish. Well, that's not one. very nice, is it? But what did you say when you opened it? Brilliant. Brilliant. I love Jackson. Can't wait to watch this. Can we watch it now, I said? What did he say? No. He's um, so ungrateful. Really? Yeah. Because I can't remember a time my dad bought me anything. It's always my mum who bought it, and my dad would give her the money. Yeah. You've got Ricky who's lost his go-kart. <laughs> You've had a video bought for you, and you need to stun it happy. <laughs> I just think you're selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... <laughs> it's not so much that I, I appreciate the, the fact that there is a gift. I think it's the sort of, it's the fact that the gifts are arbitrary and can be bought in the shop that's opposite the place he works. Don't tell Carl about what you've got your yeah. mum for this. Well, this to this, Carl, you'll love this. Right, yeah. it, the th it's the thought that counts, right? So I suppose if you say that the thought that counts is the fact that he went and got anything at all, that counts. Okay, mm. fair enough. But I phone, he phoned me up, he said, what shall I get your mother, right? It's her 20th wedding anniversary, <laughs> right? What shall I get her? I said, well, I'll tell you this, this is a great idea I'd heard from somewhere else. Why not get her, like, a, pay for her to have a makeover, you know, and all the sort of treatment, you know, and the beauty treatment and that. Mm. She'll love that, you know, and then take her out, have a, give her a meal and stuff. He went, okay, okay, okay. So he, he hangs up. I speak to him on the day of my mum's birthday. I say, what do you get? What do you get? He said, oh, I, I got something. I said, do you go for the makeover idea? He went, not exactly. I went, what do you do? He went, I bought her a trowel. <laughs> a trowel. I went, a trowel? He went, yeah, for the garden. I went, it's a trowel. 
you've been married 20 years and you've got a trowel. He went, it's stainless steel. <laughs> I said, I said to him, it's a trowel, Dad. And he went, do you think I should have got it engraved? <laughs> It is mental. <laughs> and I went down to see them, right? And I went in the lounge and literally, imagine it, like, she wasn't this, but imagine, I got in there, he'd bought this trowel, <laughs> right? And he'd also bought her an industrial sized tin of coffee. You know those ones, that are those big sized ones you have in, in like, hotels? <laughs> he say she loves coffee, Steve? She loves coffee, Steve, he said. I love the fact that, that that's meant to be, like, like the whole family that uses it, like, she keeps that by her bed. Yeah. Like, she's in Stalag like yeah. 13 or something. This is my coffee. But imagine that walking into the lounge, right? She's there, <laughs> she's got the presents that my sister's bought in there. A trowel, <laughs> just holding a trowel and a tin of coffee. And me walking in wondering, I wonder if there's anything sort of that she regrets in her life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. She loves coffee, Steve. She loves coffee, Steve. Oh. She loves the garden. Carl, what's the worst present you've ever had? You see, we don't really celebrate birthdays in our house, so... What, what, where are you from? What planet are you? What do you mean you don't celebrate birthdays? Are you here from another world observing? <laughs> <laughs> like trying to blend in but not quite managing it's to pull it off? not that fussed about it. Right. You know I mean, it's. Yeah. My mum and dad's are on the same day. And I think that just was like. That's a bit weird, isn't it? And their anniversary. And well, they got married on their but their mutual birthday. But Carl, can I just I and mean, Christmas? But Carl, there's a birthday. difference between you saying. What do you mean their anniversary's on the same day? Of course, it's on the same day. Yeah, and the, and the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but Carl, what I mean is that you, I mean you say that you don't really celebrate your birthday, but presumably you have received some presents at some point in your life from your parents or anyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, well we'll come back to you later. Yeah. Thanks. Let's play a record. Carl, have a think about that. And we'll come back to you later. Thanks very much. <laughs> Ash and sometimes they've won me over. They have indeed. Yeah. They've just got better. They've got the. They've got to be the band they always wanted to be. I I'd think. have written them off in the early days, but no. Me too, Steve. Them. Just uh, goes to show. Carl, um, any thoughts on what uh, gift you've perhaps once received that you can <laughs> joke about now? No. That was tragic at the time. No? No. Not really put the foot in then? Didn't have that many presents, so... Always thankful for what you got. I was grateful for. Yeah. Rick, would you love to hear from the listeners if maybe they've received some amusing gifts? No. No, I wouldn't. Um, so, what are you doing tonight? You're going out for a little meal with your m parents? Yeah. I thought you were coming. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good yeah. to know. Yeah. No. Any suggestions as to where we could go? I mean, maybe people would like to phone in because I've got no idea. It's got to be largely meat based. <laughs> My father yeah. only really eat meat. Do you know uh, the steakhouse uh, near me? It's closed down. Brilliant. That's it one. There's lots more to go. <laughs> Let's not stop there, it people. Come on. I used to look across and think, is that a bingo hall? <laughs> I know. It's or bright. somewhere to eat? Yeah. yeah neon. There's at the back. Right at the back. I had cocktails. And you know, I'll just imagine. Who goes in there with a cocktail? You know, I imagine you going in there with a DJ sitting there. Hi. Be fantastic. Go on. Carl's got something to say. I can tell. Is there a chance that your dad's like on the way into London now and has heard you saying, oh, he got me this and he got me that? And he could be like nipping to a shop now to buy you a rake and thought. Yeah. Yeah. Just think of that. Oh, oh that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Or the yeah. making of the bends. Yeah, it'll probably turn up and say, I was going to get you a gift, Steve, but then I got high. <laughs> and we'll all laugh. <laughs> yeah. Cultural reference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, um, right, this link has run out of steam again. <laughs> yes, but it, don't worry, because I can salvage it. Go on. Because it's time for Under the Covers. Cover me up. Oh, you got me Between covered. the covers. Between the covers. I like covers. <laughs> <laughs> Cover songs. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, this was play. done by someone else. <laughs> and it was... Uh, this week I'd like to play... Um, I mean, we're all fans of Destiny's Child, mm, Rick. Mm, and we're mm. all fans of the song Say My Name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But have any of us heard um, the Scottish band Spare Snare doing their version of it? I, I suspect not. Let's hear it now. Oh. <laughs> Spare Snare doing their version of Say My Name by Destiny's Child. Rick, what did you make of it? Do you remember Raw Sex that I used to be in um, French and Saunders? Was <laughs> Roller River on this one? Yeah. Is that basically what it's like? It's a bit like that. Do you yeah. think maybe the cover version section's running out of steam? <laughs> <laughs> if that's what we're playing. I think we should only ever do sort of six weeks a year on radio. Right. And then, you know. Yeah, it, it, and people will kind of remember that. <laughs> It'll be beautifully preserved in their memories. Yeah. You know, like, like Benny um, Hill used to do one show a year. <laughs> right. You know yeah. what I mean? Imagine yeah. how awful it would be if you'd like I'd, I'd do it ev <laughs> every week for two hours. I don't yeah. think you'd have been so successful, to be <laughs> honest, Steve. I think you'd, you'd run out of ideas. Rick, I know that you are tired of 
coming in every Saturday and doing the show. I know I am, and yeah. I suspect many of the listeners are. But maybe we should leave it to the listeners. You know, if they want us off the air, maybe they should just email, fax, phone That'd in. Be, oh, I think everything should be like that, though. Vote yeah. whether you want to, you know, like a binary sort, like, mm. you know, up against someone, knocks like, like winner stays on in pool. Yeah. I hate that, winner stays on in pool, in pubs. It's just I horrible. It. Fascist, isn't it? You yeah. want to play with your mates. You don't want to exactly. have to beat a bloke with one tooth who just yeah. plays pool all day. Yeah. yeah. Costs him nothing, and he has 93 games. Of course you're not going to beat him. He's a professional by the end of the evening. Okay, XFM uh, 104.9. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> For Hero by Les Fleur. Great bloke, Les. Yeah. Work with him in Blackpool. <coughs> Weird. Have very high voice. Can't yeah. grow a beard. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I'm joshing. Good Probably point. pronounce Les Fleur, innit? Les Fleur. Yeah. We know all that. Oh, we know all that. We know that. You noticed all those huge posters um, advertising Christian O'Connell's breakfast show? Uh, they're all over the place now. They're mainly on the tube, like you wouldn't know, Gervais. No. What with your driver and everything. <laughs> um, imagine if they'd spent the kind of money they must have spent on those advertising our show. I know. And those people were tuning in, and today's show is what they heard. I, I was actually thinking, right, because um, uh, we do sort of, we do care in a way. Yeah. We couldn't get over it today, you know. Just a just word to the kids, this is what al alcohol can do to you. <laughs> yeah. It's a sobering lesson. Yeah, it is, yeah. But I thought, what if this was our first ever attempt at radio? Think how gutted we'd be. We'd go, we're just, this is, we're well, not what right. What worries me is it's like, I don't know, it's like in my sort of hangover state, it's like I've kind of woken from a dream. And I've sort of thought to myself, all the stuff we're saying today is what we normally say week in, week out. And we think it's brilliant. And it's today yeah, oh. we've done it. And it's rubbish. Oh, and, we, and it's like we've seen the truth. Oh, yeah. It might be. See, I, it, yeah. So an alcohol can it's just make just not as interesting or entertaining as we thought. See, yours could be BSE as well, though, because I know There's you're worried about that. that yeah, because yeah. you just you just ate beef, didn't you, for for the first <laughs> fifteen largely, years? Largely just beef, yeah. Beef and milk, yeah. mainly uncooked. It was just you know <laughs> they just wheel a Often cow in. Often from the 